I didn't think I'd be doing another episode of Bunny Slippers so soon, but the internet keeps us spinning and stupid people keep writing inane articles. Yesterday, I stumbled across an article that immediately caught my attention. Of course it did, the headline is deliberately designed to piss people off. It reads, Call of Duty World War II is about killing people for fun. Why pretend otherwise? Oh yeah, I mean, why, why pretend otherwise? It's so obvious that your observation is correct. The article itself is remarkably inaccurate, which tends to be a, a recurring theme among observations like this regarding video games. You know, when, when they're criticizing video games, but not actually discussing the gameplay or the story or the mechanics or anything that actually matters, they tend to get some real significant things wrong. Kind of like saying that Modern Warfare 2 was released in 2013 and developed by Sledgehammer Games. I mean, it's not like a Wikipedia search could have cleared that up for you. But let, getting back to the point, this guy says that the Soviets are only featured briefly in Call of Duty 1 and 2 despite the fact that it, it wasn't just briefly, they had their own campaigns. And in World at War, one of the two campaigns in the game was played from the perspective of a Soviet soldier on the Eastern Front. You also play as a Polish soldier in Call of Duty 3, so there's that. He also says there's nothing authentic about how any shooter game depicts warfare, which is laughable. Insurgency is an extremely realistic war game, and the Battlefield games, while not especially realistic, achieve a very high level of authenticity. You can't tell me that the sound design isn't on point, it's phenomenal. The broad point of the article is that Call of Duty shouldn't attempt to strive for authenticity and instead should be irreverent in reference to inglorious bastards because yeah, a, a film that was written and directed by one of the best directors of all time, that's totally something that a Call of Duty game could replicate. Yeah, A plus, good observation. The reason why I said this was because according to him, the brutal reality is that people play Call of Duty and presumably other shooters because they like to murder people for fun. Given that I've heard similarly dumb arguments presented numerous times in the past, both by fundamentalist Christians and ultra progressives, I think it was worth explaining, in plain English, why people enjoy playing video games. To say people play video games to murder people is fucking stupid. It's a stupid thing to say. Yeah, sure, that's the primary objective of action-oriented games. And if you want to completely ignore all context, then sure, it's fun to shoot people, slash people, stab people in video games. However, like I said, such an observation requires ignoring all context. First of all, they aren't real people. It's, and you know, that that's pretty important. It's not real, it's fake. And literally everybody understands this. There's a reason why we can all agree that violence in the real world is bad while all enjoying violence in movies and TV shows and video games. It's not real, it's fake. Second, there's usually something else to the game that serves as the real draw. For, for example, you play a multiplayer shooter. Yeah, you, you want to get kills, but it's not because you think murder is fun. It's because A, that's how you win the match, and B, kills are something you earn when you outplay your opposition. It, it's pretty basic competition. You look at it in, in a variety of different genres. People play fighting games against each other, highly competitive, do you think that people like it because they think grievous bodily assault is fun? Like, do you really think that that's what it is? Yeah, it's fun to beat the shit out of somebody until I knock them unconscious. No, it's because it's entertaining to beat people in a competitive environment. I mean, holy shit, does this need to be explained? Let's extrapolate this idiotic thought process into other genres of games. I like playing city builders, but it's not because I want to go into urban design. It's a fun challenge, and the slow grind is ultimately worth it when you have a massive metropolis to show for your work. I don't play platformers because I like jumping around in my house like a crack addict. I play platformers because they're an exciting challenge, and it's something that really can't be replicated in real life. When am I ever going to get the opportunity to run around a kingdom with bipedal mushrooms? rooms and stomping on Goombas. You know, it's not gonna happen. Why do you think people play RPGs? Pretty obvious answer. You know, it's in it's in the fucking name of the genre. Oh, that's right. To roleplay. Who'd have thought? The reason why I want to play The Witcher 3 is because while I'm a bad house superhero, I'm not a monster hunter living in a fantasy world. You know, sometimes it's fun to immerse yourself in a world totally unlike your own. Literally, the slogan for the PlayStation 2 back in the day was live in your world, play in ours. 
perfect encapsulation of why I like playing video games. To get back to the subject of this article, the reason why I and many other people want to play a World War II shooter or just a shooter set in a historical setting is because the wars simply fascinate us. Is that so hard to believe? A World War II shooter and Saving Private Ryan both overlap in their appeal. It's about experiencing war without the subsequent shell shock. When looking at a World War II video game, you know, maybe it's about using mid 20th century weaponry or artillery or flying a fighter plane around in the sky or even learning a little bit about battles that you may not have been familiar with. These are all far more logical reasons for why they like to play these games than hurt the I love murder. And let's get real, he wouldn't have said this about a TV show or a movie. He wouldn't have said that people liked Band of Brothers or the Pacific or something because they enjoy watching people getting murdered. You only ever hear this shit about video games. Our favorite medium is still the easiest target 20 years later. This kind of statements are just stupid beyond words because you can make anything sound ridiculous by boiling it down to its bare essentials. Everything in life, everything seems fairly stupid if you look at it clinically and boil it down to its bare essentials. Why do people like playing shooters? All you're doing is centering the screen on the thing you want dead. Why do people like strategy games? All you're doing is micromanagement. And even considering all of this, even if the sole reason somebody likes to play a particular video game is because they like killing people, who cares? It's not real. People like Mortal Kombat because you can chop people's heads off and slice them in half, and it's funny, and and that's a big appeal for a lot of people, but it doesn't mean that they're a bunch of psychopaths. It's just funny because it's so over the top. Only a non-gamer would write an article like this. So to reiterate for anybody who isn't getting it yet, people play video games for a challenge, for competition, to be immersed in a different world, to experience an engaging story for thrills and for numerous other reasons that vary depending on the individual because people do things for different reasons and gaming is such a huge medium with so many varied genres from third person action games with stealth elements <laughs> to strategy games and MOBAs. There's just so many reasons why people like to play these games. And, and of course, you know, the, the most logical thing, the most logical conclusion to come to when looking at gaming is, hope there are people like killing people. Fucking stupid, man. God damn it, I didn't think I'd have to explain such basic concepts to fully grown adults.